Well, if you're working for the weekend, good news. There's only one more day to go. And to help you stay strong, we've invited our two guys around town with their finger on the pulse of what's good in the hood and beyond. The two in question, why well, Dick and Dave, of course, Mr. Richard Burroughs of the Brooklyn Rita. Welcome, sir. Cheers. Joining him is... Dave Cologne, hey. a licensed fun expert. Wow. Hello, <laughs> well, we do love when Dick and Dave come by. It's always extra special when they bring a friend, especially one with adult beverages. The beverage is beer, and the guest is an expert at making the stuff. As a matter of fact, he is celebrating 20 years in the biz this weekend. Happy anniversary, and welcome back to BK Live, Jeremy Cowan, the founder of Schmaltz Brewing. Thanks. Jeremy, thank Thanks. you for being here. Thanks Happy so anniversary. Much. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. It's a fantastic week with New York City Beer Week going on in full effect. So <laughs> nice. happy to bring some beers for lunch any day. That's yeah, great. What sort of beer do you have for, for us? Lunch. That sounds like BK Live. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's Brooklyn. Um, so I, uh, I brought some really cool beers. We've got a little bit of the spectrum of what's going on in craft beer. Um, I've got a giant barrel-aged beer that we take about 11 months to age in rye whiskey barrels. It's called mm. RIPA on rye. It hasn't even hit the market yet, but we've been pouring it for samples for friends in the industry and at a couple of these events for New York City Beer Week. Okay. Uh, I also brought a brand new project we just did uh, upstate as a new brewer's training program called Brewers Wanted. Mm -hmm. And it's just starting to hit some draft lines in town. It's all New York State grain. Uh, New York State Cascade hops as well. It's going to be available at Price Chopper, Upstate, and at bars and restaurants through the city. Mm -hmm. And then our flagship IPA called Hop Mana. Beautiful 6.5% alcohol, 65 IBUs, big citrus and fruit, wonderful classic American IPA. So a little What's bit of everything. IBU? 65 IBUs? What is that? That's a, that's a goal, a range of how bitter a beer is. Oh, so the, the, the right. IPA is traditionally a little bit more hoppy. That imparts bitterness, aroma, and flavor. And uh, it's a really great category. We're really proud of our, our IPA. It's called Hot Mana and won a gold medal at the World Beer Championship. So wow. awesome stuff. I want to go to the World Beer Championship. <laughs> I'm You're going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to hear what's going on this weekend, but let's taste the beer, let's too, do if that's it. okay. You know Richard, what? Let's, you just go start, let's just start at the top. I'll pour you guys some samples. You guys can say what's going on while we taste this yeah, exactly. rye double IPA aged in rye wow. whiskey barrels. It is All epic. Right, bartender. Great. So, who's Dave, you're starting us off this week. Am I? I thought, oh, I thought Dick was starting us well, off. Dick, well, Dick, let's start us off this. He's mesmerized by the beer. There's, there's a, a whole lot uh, going on. I'm, I'm going to be in Staten Island, though, so I'm not okay, doing Dick, any of these things. Uh, oh, it's uh, the Academy Awards uh, party at Littlefield. I uh, personally am not a fan of any movie awards uh, ever given out, uh, especially, you know, this year's Oscars seem worse than all the other ones, uh, what with being totally white. But if you like the Oscars, you should probably just go to the Littlefield party because it's free. If you RSVP, you get uh, free champagne. There's popcorn. There's a uh, red carpet uh, that you can, you know, walk on and feel fancy. I guess Greg knows all about that. <laughs> Feeling movie fancy. Star. Uh -huh. movie, oh, movie star, star guy. Adult yeah. Beginners. Sorry, yeah. Adult yeah. beginners. Adult it's beginners free own. And they give you popcorn. Yeah. It's all. Oh, it's man. all so just from the skin to the skin. They're good people. They know. You know. So, so even even I guess maybe even if you can even if you don't Feel care better. for the. Uh, for the Oscars, right. Uh, right? You know, it's free. That's I think Leo's free. gonna win this year, though. So does Mr. Johnson. Yeah. yeah, that's my boy, Leo. I got a small book on it, so if anyone's interested. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on, Richard? How small is the book? <laughs> Beat oh, night. This um, is a. It's Friday. It's downtown. It's all. Uh, and at the party is here actually at Brick, which is pretty cool. But it's like all the galleries and downtown spaces. Um, I think it's along Fulton and Livingston, I believe. They all stay open late on Friday. Um, you can go into any of them and sort of like, because a lot of times if you work mm -hmm. and you have, you know, you get up at six, then oftentimes you miss all the all the real cool art galleries. Um, so they're gonna stay open really late. You can get your cultural sort of, uh, you know, sort of hopping around on, and then you can come over here for the after party, which is from eight to ten. Uh, I don't know where in here it's gonna be. Where is that? Is it gonna be here? Or is it going to be in a ballroom? It's basically going to be a party all over. Oh, 
okay, okay. So yeah, so that's a little, a little, little walking around, get your Fitbit going, it's a and then party. Um, come over here and, and, and get a little, little after party. I'll have to so get a Fitbit. So what first. are we tasting in here, this, Jeremy? This is a very special beer. It's we got only a make lot it, going on. We only, yeah, we only make it every other year. Um, Schmaltz Brewing it takes uh, seven months. ages this beer. It's a rye double IPA called Bittersweet Lenny's RIPA. We age that in rye whiskey barrels that we buy. We age it for about 11 months, and then we release it into the market. It's just coming out For some reason quickly. in my brain, because you put it in a barrel, I didn't think it would have bubbles or something. Right. It's still bubbles it in a barrel. It is still carbonated. Yep, these it's are delicious. aged. Uh, bubbles so in a barrel. I'm so glad you like it. We love She's this bitter. beer. It's, it was bitter. a silver medal winner at the Great American Beer uh, Festival. Oh, nice. And uh, it's just hitting the market, like, literally this you week. Were we're robbed. just previewing it for New York City Beer you Week. We were robbed. So oh, it's nice. big. Yeah, i got to get big. down to the World Beer Festival. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I want to win a medal. Well, there's actually so much going on for New York City Beer Week, as these guys know, of course. There are, uh, there are actually well over 100 events all over New York City, five oh, yeah. boroughs, featured on New York City, uh, NYC, uh, BeerWeek.com. They have a brand new app that's really fantastic. People should download that for, I, for Android and it's iPod. The beer or uh, iPod. It's an app Dave. for an iPod. <laughs> it's uh, for Apple and Android. Dave. Yeah. You and I have a mutual friend, Brett Davis. Great guy. Uh, he was on Stand Up Brooklyn with Greg Johnson on Brick TV, and he has a show this weekend. Is that true? It's, he does. It's the Macaulay Culkin Show. I have uh, talked about this show plenty of times when I've been on the air, but I can't not recommend it when it's happening. Uh, Shea Stadium's a great place, uh, and that's where it's hosting it. Him and his co-host, Sally Davis, uh, Sally Burtnick, are uh, fantastic uh, hosts for the show. And they got a great lineup this time. They got Charles Gould, they got Good Cop, Great Cop, uh, the, the uh, sketch uh, duo. They've got uh, a partner named Cherla. She was also on Stand Up Brooklyn. Oh, there you go. Got the Greg Johnson seal of approval, and she is always <laughs> extremely funny. Uh, Lorelai Ramirez, and then there's Nate Fernald, who I didn't know much about, and then I looked him up, and he, he has this whole thing with a uh, Spider-Man tweet that got incredibly... Uh, retweeted all over the internet, uh, and then it turned out to be factually incorrect. So well, he's no. begging people to to, to to unretweet it. Oh. And, uh, uh, can we do that? Yeah, you can unretweet a tweet if you. If you give so it he's asking away, all 2,200 people or whoever who retweeted it to please uh, stop it. Maybe he'll talk about the show. I don't know. Wow. That's on show. Sunday night. Shea Stadium. Jim Two is five dollars. It's at Shea Stadium, which yeah. is not in. It's in Bushwick. It's a club in Bushwick. I don't know. If, I don't. <laughs> it's got I don't a giant. Know if see you it's got there, a giant bro. Mets mural. It's great. <laughs> that means I have to go. I'm intrigued. It's quite a scene at Shea Stadium. I'm intrigued. Right. Richard, what else? Well, this is a cocktail experiment. This is going to be pretty cool. It's uh, at the Gemini and Scorpio Loft. You should probably just go online and um, look for it because it's quasi secretive. Um, it's kind of like, is with them. you know, exactly, exactly. Um, but this is pretty cool because the cocktail experiment, like basically, they provide all of the actual spirits, and you bring anything that you would like to make in? with, right? Really? So maybe if, like, like, maybe you, you got like some irritable bowel syndrome, you want to bring some prune juice, mm. you know, or maybe you have. <laughs> Some kind of offbeat you nectar. Stay home. Some <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or get like, you know, they have some really fashionable adult diapers now. Um, so maybe you want to get like something nice, really like an offbeat kind of, you know, sort of ad that you, you always go to a bar like, you know, oh my God, if someone had this crazy, you know, sort of uh, nectar that I love, but you never can get that to make, you know, made at a bar. Um, so they customize, and then if actually it's a really good, sort of well liked uh, cocktail, then put it on. yeah and like you and your four friends they all get you know some free cocktails right well speaking of adult diapers we would be remiss <laughs> to not what? mention the birthday of mr burns oh <laughs> yes Who's one year closer to adult diapers well, yeah, God, well, 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 adult God. Diapers. God willing so let's oh, raise a God. glass of hot manna Here's to the weekend and a happy birthday. What this are we is, smelling this here? This is great. Too. This is so. This is after that big rye whiskey. This is our American IPA. It's called Hot Mana. Uh, it's available on draft and in bottles here in the city. Um, it's a uh, it's a gold medal winner and uh, highly rated on Rape Beer. It's it's hoppy. It's got a beautiful kind of fruit and uh, citrus. A little bit wonderful aromas. <laughs> So this is our go-to IPA. It's about 35% of our business at Schmaltz Brewing Company. Oh, nice. We'd like people to come up and visit us in world-famous Clifton Park that is just north of Albany. Mm -hmm. And um, I also uh, spent a lot of time just up the street in Prospect Heights where I lived when I moved all of our production from San Francisco 
uh, in the 90s to New York in the 2000s. So right. it's been an awesome time for craft beer in New York City. Yeah, it, it has is. blown up. The New York City Brewers Guild has yeah. done an amazing job as a program that a nonprofit that I started um, with a couple of the other breweries here in town. There were 12 when we started. There's well over 20 no, uh, New York City breweries now. How many from Brooklyn? I know uh, that a I, lot I'm of not sure, at least Brooklyn. 10, yeah. and they are uh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we're like a, legendary brewing yeah. in Brooklyn. No, really, yeah. Brooklyn uh, traditionally was the heart of brewing for many, many uh, decades, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's really come back around. Who knew? Yeah. My grandfather <laughs> did. He lived around all that. <laughs> oh, yeah? What did your grandfather know about the makeout party at Come On Everybody this Friday? Nothing. Oh, probably, <laughs> probably rest, rest his soul. The least, the less he knows, the better. The uh, less, exactly. He can't unsee it. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of basically what it sounds like from the. The title of the uh, event, they show music videos from uh, like the uh, halcyon days of the music video in the 90s, I you were late 80s. Making make out No, no, and you, you know, you videos. dance or you can That's a party. make out. I guess That's if you party. dance well enough, someone would want to maybe make out with you. Uh, consent is extremely Good important. Idea. Uh, oh my God, don't, totally. Don't forget that. Uh, totally. Uh, do not just run up and shove your face onto someone else's face uh, without asking. Words to live by. Asking. Um, so that's a come on, everybody. Every that's on Saturday. Saturday. They've been doing it for two years, so obviously oh, they're Friday. doing something right. Uh, oh, you're uh, Friday. No, Saturday. So what do you say? Show up both nights. I don't know. Show always up fun to come on well, it everybody says Friday. on oh. That's the best name for a venue. Well, come anyway. on, everybody. Come on, everybody is great. It's in bed it, it It's right next to, yeah, it is Saturday. Except for they, they got their own. They got their own. Day. They got their own flat <laughs> room. But it's great. It's right next to Chilo's that has a good taco truck. So if you get oh, yeah. hungry when you're dancing or you want to put, like, a foundation for drinking and dancing, you right. just go next door to Chilo's, get some tacos in the backyard, Here and just go over to the free party, music video, make out. Great. Right, nice. All right, we only have a few minutes left. Tonight is the birthday celebration for the man right here. Is today your oh birthday? My Lord. Yes, it was. Oh, happy birthday. Where is the celebration? The Regal? Yeah, the Regal in Williamsburg. It's a new place from the, um, the guys that own um, Hotel Chantel oh, yeah. on, on Lello in, um, in Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, so it's just a bunch of just like dinner. I got a couple of my good DJ friends, uh, Sir Logan, Jeremy from the block. Um, we're just gonna play some tunes. We're going to drink. And everyone that made a reservation, obviously they get a couple of cocktail because um, I want to give to my friends on my birthday. And um, nice. we're gonna just dine, dance, drink, and, and and just get a little debauch going on. Happy birthday, man. Yes, thank you, brother. Of I course. appreciate that. I appreciate that. Dave, what's next? Uh, so there's one other thing. It's uh, picture this where uh, stand-up comedians tell jokes and animators behind them are drawing stuff live. Oh, I did this one time. Oh, did you? Yeah. How'd, how'd you like it? It was fun. Yeah, so there you go. Another Greg Johnson seal of approval right here. Uh, and they got some great comedians. They have uh, Julia Rossi. They, like uh, they have got uh, <laughs> Comedy Zone, Joe Pera. They have uh, Mike Lawrence and uh, who's on oh, Josh Gondelman. Josh Gondelman, he Everybody. got me on the John Oliver show because he's the writer there. Great oh, wow. lineup. Yeah, right there. people you just can't get enough of Josh Gondelman. Uh, so that's going to be fun. That is on actual Friday. See, they got <laughs> right. they got the day right, right on their right, on their right. thing. Uh, eight bucks if you want to buy it today. Uh, Union, Union Hall? Hall, yeah. Get it buy now eight before bucks, the price goes or it's, up. You know, ten ten dollars if you want to just go make a last minute decision at the door. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Tipping your bar well, ticket. anyway, when you buy a ticket online, you got to pay that fee. It, it comes out to like yeah, la la la. Dick, one more tickets. real quick. Oh yeah, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Um, this is the House of Yes. They're having a give back party. Good parties. Um, and this is uh, at two, what is that? Just two. Uh, Where? At the House of Yes? Yes, it's on uh, House of Yes, Google it. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> in Bushwick. In Bushwick. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's a free will for many parties. So, basically, all the things you get with a House of Yes party, like the freaking stilt walkers and the, the eyeballs, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, the crazy kind of like circus, you know, Cirque du Soleil, but in Bushwick. All of that you normally have to pay a nice premium price for, um, but as their sort of give back tomorrow. to the community, yeah. um, tomorrow they're just free having midnight. free before midnight. Good right. stuff. Oh. Jeremy, one more time for the beers that you brought. Yeah. This stuff's delicious. Thanks, man. And then our, our big party is Saturday night as well if people want to come. No cover, cash bar. It's going to be amazing. It's in Bushwick. And speaking of brewing centers of Brooklyn, it's in the last remaining brewery standing. Uh, it's at the Well. It's a wonderful oh, beer well. bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really cool spot. Yeah, so yeah. we're launching Funky Jubilation with a funk band, a DJ, a oh, bunch yeah. of beers from the New York City Brewers 
Guild as well. It's the unofficial after party for the Cask Fest and the Gala Awards on Saturday. That's great. Let's get this last one in. Blended, where is this? This, this is um, this is a dance party. This is um, at uh, behind um, in Bed by Brew. Yeah. No, uh, Bed by Cocktail. Oh. Brew is dope. I DJ at Brew, <laughs> yeah. but Cocktail um, is, is more of uh, the little sister. Um, I don't think as many people go there, but um, they have a really great cocktail program, um, really great backyard, and a really good space. Friday night. Friday free. night. Thank you, Dick and Dave, as always. Jeremy, yes. thank you so much. This Thanks beer is brilliant. Yes. Happy weekend, everybody.